Now let me tell you the story of what happened afterwards. A certain sort of peace has come over the land, at least over the parts that we know of, since the new Seraph is growing bigger and bigger every day. The Roman Empire on Seraph, the area under Sabert's control, is almost fully reconstructed. After the invaders from the Zero Dark all disappeared, a certain change occurred in Seraph. First, the number of NPCs started to increase. I even started to spot some familiar faces. Saber is overjoyed. She calls them her Roman citizens and have been busying themselves with her area's construction. She says she's doing it because it would be uncomfortable living there day to day otherwise. The area is mostly made up of fortresses erected at during the war, after all. I can tell Saber is happy as she speaks boisterously about the glory and extra extravagance that can only be achieved through the efforts of our citizens. Additionally, it's not just the NPCs who have increased in numbers. Surprisingly, we've started to see more and more humans in all the territories. Yes, humans. Saber doesn't really see the difference between them, and neither do I, but Castor looked pretty surprised when she told me the news. Of course, many of the people who come to Seraph are Spiriton hackers who have become wizards. But not everyone is one, and for some reason there seems to be a fairly large amount of non-wizards too. Saber thinks that there are immigrants who have moved to the moon and the environment on Earth is too harsh for them. Of course, the Roman gates of Seraph are wide open. Saber loves to welcome people who have chosen to live in this serial phantasm world. It's no surprise, her noble phantasm is a glorious golden theater just waiting for applause. She keeps her door open for any audience who comes to share in the joy of the world. Reconstruction of Tomo's old territory, the Millennium Capital, is moving along quickly. Most of the areas that were damaged during the battle with the Umbral Star are repaired down too. It sounds like the NPC's trade industry is doing particularly well, and they've even established a trade route with the Rome. For her part, Castor says, it's not like I particularly helped them or anything. She also tells me that Karn is spending his days peacefully in the city of Cherry Blossoms. Apparently, he's a sight to behold when he's gazing at the flowering glory of the trees in full bloom. Ryder started up a shop somewhere, or was she helping out one of the NPC stores? Either way, she says she's doing well. I'd like to go say hi to one of these days. Berserker. Nobody knows where the General Lubu... I honestly don't know how to pronounce his last name. Has gone. There are rumors that he was last seen watching the cherry blossoms of Karna. There are also stories of him be being seen in places other than the Millennium Capital or Rome. So no one really knows what happened to him. Three of the four generals who served under Nero van vanished just like Lou Blue. Who Colain ran off saying he had someone to find. Sir Gawain c claimed he was going on a journey to train himself even further. Lee Shuin just left, cuckooing all the while. All of them set off in different directions, following their own paths in new and constantly expanding territories of Seraph. Archer stayed behind for us, but I don't see much of him. I wonder what he's doing lately. And then the servants who lent Altera their power. The top servants who stayed by her side for various reasons, even though the moon cell summoned them to fight her. We know the King of Conquerors fell in battle, but we haven't seen any sign of the other two. Did they disappear? Did they leave Seraph and return to the Throne of Heroes? No one seems to know for sure. In my personal opinion, it's hard to think that the Golden Heroic Spirit would have given up and left so easily. I can easily see him being dragged into some unbelievable plot in some unbelievable place, gut laughing the whole time. And then there's the Zero Dark the former territory of the Umbral Star. The unknown darkness that once blanketed the territory has started to vanish, piece by piece. Apparently it's an automatic function of the moon cell running its course, now that it's confirmed that the Ark of the Stars has been completely destroyed. No one goes there now. No servants, NPCs, or humans. Even all the Umbral enemies have disappeared, following the cessation of their functions. Cessation. Okay. I don't think that anyone will ever enter the Zero Dark again. No, never again.
この時がやってきてしまったなキャスターよまったくもっていつかはこうなるとは覚悟しておりました私たちはどうあっても相入れぬ同士決着はつけなくてはなりません不思議ですねこういうところはすぐに同意できるのに他となるとどうにも不器用なんて確かにな我らは二人しかし愛しの奏者は一人のみ統合を果たした時からもはや決まっていた運命かもわからんな How did it come to this? I tried to think of something to say, some other way to calm them down, calm down, calm down like the ladies they are. Seraph has finally regained peace. Maybe it's never been this peaceful before. So it's wrong to fight like this. I've told them over and over that they're both my irreplaceable servants, but it looks like they can't even hear me right now. They're already spoiling for a fight. There's no one to stop them, and er anyone who could stop them in the first place has left on a journey of their own. This is awful. Can I really not do anything other than watch? The scene unfolding it in front of me this time is truly the beginning of the end. It's the day of reckoning. It's the day of destiny. Two of the world's strongest classes, the yes, ladies, sinking down to a mudslinging contest. Tomeruna, Sosha! Korewa, Shin ni Sonata no tame demo aru! Yueni, yo wa agete iku zo! ま,まずは洋の料理から食べるのだぞブリジートは無粋ですねセーバーさんお疲れ気味のご主人様には質量料理などより繊細な京料理が良いのです質量料理かそれは良きなだ世のローマ料理は質も量も十分だからな褒めてませんから玉森流のあてつけですからあんいえご主人様はどうぞお気を楽に So it begins. I knew that they'd shut themselves in the kitchen at the crack of dawn, but, and they were fussing over this and that while getting something ready, but I could never have imagined this is what they were planning. It would seem that the true battle begins here. It wouldn't bother me if this was a normal culinary battle. I wouldn't mind at all. In fact, I'd be perfectly content to let them go at it and prove their skills to their heart's content. The only problem is I, I'm the judge for this. Where's Ku Kulain when I need them? The table in front of me is piled high with mountainous fruits of their labors. And I don't use mountainous lightly. I can see that they truly put everything they had into making this. Both sides look delicious Roman cooking and Japanese cooking. Both different, but both scrumptious. Go Shujin Sama? Moshia Ima, Kire na monologue de Shimeo to Nasai Mashita? Tochira mo chigate. どちらも良いか。おお、それはなかなか良い言葉ではないか。うん、褒め言葉と受け取るぞ。セーバーさん、ほにゃーと大だらけさせて何勝手に陥落なさってるんですか。ここまで来て向こう試合なんて私はご免
ここに極まりいざ真剣勝負ではご主人様まずは私のお料理ご覧くださいまし水菜と牡蠣と豆腐のお鍋うなぎの白焼きに穴子のかば焼きトレトレの松茸の混ぜご飯にお吸い物のもちろん箸休めにはおばんざいさらにデザートには生八つ箸という二代目團十郎も水前のスペシャル京料理ですさっさご主人様担当とお召し上がりくださいませおかわりもありますとも團十郎水前休暇それは。Are you too acquainted with Sir Donjuro? You aren't, are you? Anyway, this really does look delicious. It smells wonderful. Its fragrance wafts over me. I can tell that you two that you spend a lot of time and effort on this. Thank you, Castor. Well then. Yeah. Yeah. エメン最高の美酒と最高の料理こそがセラフローマ皇帝とその最愛たるものにふさわしいというものよあのセーバーさんご主人様ですがお酒の類が大丈夫なあれでしたっけそこはそれ漁師なる虚構の世界としてのセラフであるがゆえノンアルコール美酒を用意したぞ。なんとその手があったかこの玉も一生の深くそのテレンテクだ見習わせていただきましょうでは山もこんだ手をさらっと紹介しよう黄金がごときチーズに蜂蜜を添えたオリーブオイルたっぷりのパルスムロンひよこ豆などではなくレンズ豆であるも良いが昔ながらのパルスもまた良いつい先日発見されたばかりの森林域で収穫したブドウもつけてみたトロイア豚はユオが切り分けてやるのだぞテーズからなのだぞクジャクのローストもあるのだぞ The Roman dishes saber lays in front of me A pile of delicacies like something out of a storybook. Hmm, I see. So, this is the table of the esteemed emperor. I feel like one of those people depicted in ancient history books. This looks super delicious. It makes me think about the past. There are so many places in many, so many eras throughout history when, er, when the Earth's bounty was astonishingly pl plentiful. My mind almost wanders to those kinds of places. フォアグラも焼きたてであるしああエスカルゴの塩にもまた絶品なのだこのココラルでだなえー、カタツムリ食べるんですかはあキツネが何を言うか虫とかカタツムリとか大好物であろうがミコかわいいかわいいタマモちゃんは虫とか食べたりしませんゆうだ何を言う虫やカタツムリを食べる野生のキツネが可愛くないとでも言うのか突然キツネの側に立たないでくださいマシンああもう何ですかそうじゃよキツネ代表は放っておいて甘味も食すがよいプラケンタの蜂蜜漬けなどもあるのだぞププラセンタお肌に良いというあのんそそうなのか Oh, wait. Palacenta. Yes, slight difference there. Moving on. Come on. It's a good thing to eat. 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 うん、確かに日本料理の耳は麗しい繊細だしかし繊細すぎて食欲というか
重力がわかるのも事実その点、ヨウの料理を見よう満腹の剣闘士ですら駆けつけるほどの肉、油、果実のインパクトすべてはローマへ通ずだ聞いたことがあろうなれば、すべての文化文明はローマへ通ず貴様が京料理なるものを選んだ時点で勝負は決まっていたのだ京料理もまた文化文明なんですその理屈さすがに強引すぎてドン引きなんですけど Thanks, キャスター何が文化文明ですか冗談じゃありませんあなたは何が文化文明ですか冗談じゃありませんあなたは何が文化文明ですか冗談じゃありませんあなたは何が文化しかしだな、奏者こやつがなかなか納得せぬものだからえっご主人様でもセーバーさんが真似をするでない真似とかなんです Oh, will they just cut it out? 文明んお料理はいい文明And with a thump, before anyone here even realized it, a young girl in white had jumped on top of my lap. The young girl, smaller than Al the Altera we knew, a new life form with both the features of herself as a hero and the faint shade of herself as a titan, the new cyber frame born on Seraph. Surprise, Saber and Caster start arguing. arguing. Yeah. And Nilla surprised myself. I didn't hear her walk in. Altera, ka! Kisama's bun wa betu ni totte aru ye. I, ima wa. Sou sha to futari kiri na no da. Dakara sona. Sona no ga. Dame desu ka? Ii e. Futari kiri ja nai desu yo. Watakushi mo mikotto otonari ni imasu. Imasu kara ne? Dame desu ka? Tama mo. そのええー、まあ今は間が悪いというか一世一代の大勝負の最中なのでここはご遠慮いただけるとうーんあのあのえっとアルテラさんなぜお黙りにおいしそうです右のお料理も左のお料理もおいしそうこれはこれは文明なのですかどちらがいい文明どちらが悪い文明でもどちらも美味しそうですあ、uh, I should probably say something here but before I can open my mouth アルテラよーく聞くがよい悪い文明など世界のどこにも存在せぬいずれも等しく人の営みだであるがゆえどちらも美味であり栄養満点であるとヨウとキャスターが保証しようであろうキャスター依存はないなしょうがないですねそういうことならええどちらもそうです味も栄養も保証しましょうともご主人様のためにとどちらも考えに考えた献立なんですから悪いものなんて一辺たりとも入っていませんええええ存分に召し上がってくださいましえっと私が食べてもいいですかそう言いましたけどもうむ目に入ってしまったからにはもはや仕方あるまいキャスターよこれこそ無効試合というものもしくはヨたちの負けだ腹をすかせた無垢なる少女にお預けなどしてはロンマ皇帝失格だからな狐としても失格であろう狐としてって何ですかまあ言いたいことは分かりますけど
And with that, the epic battle draws to a close. That's fine. I've been waiting for so long that I'm hungry too. And besides, there's no way I could finish this huge pile of food all by myself. Of course, since it's the four of us here in the same room, I'm not sure we'll get all get along perfectly, although I do wish we could. At any rate, I think the best plan is for everyone to enjoy this wonderful banquet. Oh, hey Archimedes. ベルバーツ完全破壊を確認すでにクォンタムタイムロックに入ったか実に落胆すべき結果ではあるがこれ以前の修正行動は不可能となった人の文明と神の執念月の機能か優勢の力までをも利用しての奇跡とはな欠陥品であるお前たちだが結果は正しく受け止めようお前たちの勝利だだがベルバーはいずれ ここへと至ろう破滅の星をどうかこの身をここよりはるかな真の英知に導く。Excellent, cut him off there. And they're all up at the front. Well, that's it for F8 Excel right now. I'll move on to the side stories sooner or later. Until then, catch you later.